What the heck is this contraption? Well, this is actually called a Fuel Lab FST. And I'm sure you're confused, or maybe you're not. Maybe you know exactly what it is and you know how awesome this thing is. But I thought it'd be a cool video to show you guys exactly why I have this and how it goes together. So I appreciate the boys at Fuel Lab. They've come on board for my 2020 program. You guys maybe remember they saved my ass in Drift Week by overnighting a pump to me. Well, this is gonna kind of complete the package. So this is a surge tank and a filter. There's a pump inside here, and I'm gonna go through exactly what it takes to get this, how it ships, and why I want one of these. Let's back up five minutes. So let's start at the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and open up all of these products for you. I've already opened them, I'll be honest. So they were actually packaged even better than what you'll see but I'm gonna go over the entire apparatus and show you each individual piece and how they come together to form what you just saw. So let's start with this big box here. Comes with some instructions and some O-rings. But what we really want is this bad boy. So what we see here is called the Fuel Lab FST. And what that stands for is Fuel Surge Tank. And what that means is just simply a small reservoir that has a pump inside and it stays full all the time. So it prevents any kind of slosh that you might see in a much bigger reservoir like a fuel cell. When the fuel level gets low, that fuel tends to slosh around as the G-forces of the car move around the racetrack. And so you have potential for pickup of air or you know dry suction, what you may call it. Essentially meaning the fuel pump is not grabbing any fuel and sending it to the engine and bad things happen. So we've got this smaller reservoir, the FST, that is not susceptible to any kind of fuel slosh because it stays filled all the time and it's again much smaller. The pump inside here therefore will not be starved for any kind of fuel and your engine will always have a constant supply of fuel, meaning that it's running correctly and you're not going to have any lean conditions which could cause detonation and kaboom. <laughs> So the way it comes is with this flying lead harness. This is simply how you supply power and ground and a signal to the pump inside. You can terminate this to whatever connector you have at home. And then we've got three ports here, which I'll explain, and one out port. So the out port is obviously the feed to the fuel rail from the fuel pump inside. Now inside here, we've got these three ports. So what are these for? All right, so one of them is going to be the feed from the fuel cell. So you have a fuel cell with a lift pump or a external pump that's a suction pump that feeds the surge tank. Then you also have a return that goes back to the fuel cell. So when this is full, the fuel pressure has to go somewhere that goes back to the fuel cell. And then you also have another return and this one's coming back from the fuel rail. So this is always being fed from the feed pump or the lift pump and the return from the regulator at the engine side and then this again bleeds off to the fuel cell but this is always being fed with constant supply of fuel so there's never an opportunity for it to get any sort of slosh or starvation all right let's move on to the next box we've got here this is going to be kind of some of the accessories so they come with a really nice dash 8 crimped line i'll show you how this goes together we've got a bracket we've got a adapter fitting some hardware and another bracket. It also comes with some instructions. Oh, and a big bracket. So this is a really nice CNC, it's aluminum, it's lightweight. And I'll show you exactly where this goes and how that goes together. Let's open up a couple more of these boxes in here. Oh, this is actually a new fuel pressure regulator. So as I said, they are sponsoring my 2020 program. This is a critical component to the fuel system. Oh, in the box here, we've also got a little accessory kit. So this comes with some O-rings, it comes with a nice bracket, and it comes with some fittings so that you can adapt it to your rail. This is how you adjust the fuel pressure at the engine side of things. So the return from the rail goes to here, and then this returns back to the surge tank as we saw. Then there's an adjustment that can be made and it is a rising rate fuel pressure regulator, meaning that as it sees boost pressure increase, it increases the fuel pressure at the engine. 
So this is really nice. And actually, that brings up a good point. This is gonna be a little giveaway contest video as well. So for those of you that are watching, thank you again for continuing to support the channel. And the guys at Fuel Lab have decided to give away a swag pack to five different people. And one lucky winner will win one of these fuel pressure regulators, just like the one you see me run on my car. And that's a pretty cool price. You know, these are, are high quality piece and they're not that cheap. So that's a nice little upgrade for you. So all you have to do to win is you go and comment down below on this YouTube video what car you'd be putting this on and then just share the video on one of your social media platforms. We're gonna pick five lucky winners to win a swag pack and one lucky winner to win the regulator. So good luck. And the last piece of the puzzle here is a filter. So this right here, really nice piece. You can see it's CNC, it's aluminum, it's beautiful part number on it. Uh, this is gonna be our post filter. So as you maybe remember in one of my previous videos from Drift Week, the boys at Fuel Lab saved my ass. They shipped me a pump overnight with a filter. That filter was gonna be the pre-filter, meaning it goes before the pump in line. So any kind of trash that maybe is coming out of the cell is gonna be caught by that filter before it goes into the pump, which is feeding the engine. This is gonna be an additional filter for the system. This is gonna be a post filter. And what that means is simply after the feed pump. So we've got a pre-filter, which means before the first pump. And then we've got a post filter, which just means after the last pump so that everything in the system is as clean as possible and it's running through one of their high quality fuel filters. All right, let's see how this all goes together. So we start with the bracket here and you can see it's got some reliefs here. They're probably just for keeping some weight down. It's just a really nice little added touch. I know that this goes upwards because we can see some countersunk reliefs for the hardware. So this is gonna go like this, get our hardware out and then the surge tank with the feed arrow going out that direction. So now I just put in the hardware, supplied hardware. It's a 530 seconds Allen head. Now I'm gonna cheat and get a ball head Allen socket on a drill. Now remember to do this slowly. You, you, once you saw me hand start all of the threads and then we just do this really slow. I'm not gonna tighten it with this. I'm just gonna get them slightly snugged up and then I'll do the rest by hand. Okay, now that's done, take your Allen and do it by hand. I can't recommend that enough. Uh, one step better would be to put a little bit of Loctite on these. Uh, I'm just a freak for Loctite. <laughs> I, I have bad luck with things vibrating loose on my rattly drift car. So I would recommend that, but uh, some people don't like doing Loctite, especially when it's a steel hardware going into an aluminum bracket. I think it's fine. I've never really had any issues. Maybe those people put too much, who knows. Okay, now that that's tight, you can see that we've got dust caps provided for this. Now I recommend you leave those on until you go to install. That's a really nice thing that they ship with and it's something that can be reused. So if you ever store this or uninstall it, you can just hang on to those and put them back. But more than anything, just leave them on until you go to actually install the, the item. So next, I wanna show you one little detail that I saw. You guys notice that this is wet, okay? And you can even see some of the wetness coming out of here. That's a good thing, all right? That means that it has not only been tested, but it's actually been shipped with a lubricant in it so that no kind of rusting or corrosion or any kind of crap that could happen while this sits on the shelf for who knows how long that you guys buy it and it sits there for your project cars. Um, it's not gonna have any kind of adverse effects. So that's a good thing. Don't think that they shipped you a used product or something that you know is not up to optimum, whatever. It's, it's good, it's a good thing. So that's where this funny looking fitting goes. You can see that there's an O-ring right here. Make sure that that O-ring is installed and in good condition. You can see, oh, you know what? I'm doing this wrong. So I'm gonna feed this in several rotations. And then this is acting as a jam nut. So once this is in the orientation that I want, then I'll tighten the jam nut and we'll go from there. Now that's where this bad boy comes into play. So this installs just like this. You don't need any kind of anything on these threads. This is an AN fitting. 
and that means that it seals perfectly without any sort of anything. So don't put anything right there. Now, here's where you'll take an 8AN wrench and you can tighten this. Okay, I'm not actually going to tighten that yet. I want to make sure that everything is oriented exactly where we want it and then we'll tighten it. Next, get your fuel filter. Make sure that you look for the out. Okay, this one's very clearly labeled outlet right there. So that's going to be obviously how it goes out. We know that the fuel is traveling this direction from the arrow. So the fuel's coming out and goes out like that. So this is going to go here, but not before we install this bracket. Now this bracket may be a little bit confusing when you get one of these because we have this extra piece right here. Now that's going to be if you wanted to mount this in a different configuration. If you didn't get this plate or maybe your packaging won't allow this exact setup. So that can just easily be removed. You just pop off these two Allens at the bottom. That comes right off. And now I have this bracket, which you can see the threads and the, the holes line up perfectly right there. So just lay this down, get my bracket, goes right here. And then the hardware I, I use to pull off that other bracket is gonna go right in here. All right, get these tight by hand. Again, maybe a touch of Loctite. I'm not doing it right now. This isn't the final install. I still have to make sure this is gonna work where I want to. Now we can take off these two pieces of hardware. All right, so I want you to notice that right there, that little piece of rubber, it came out. Make sure you don't lose these, okay? These are what are gonna provide a little bit of vibration resistance and also gonna give it a nice clamp on the filter without damaging the actual housing. Now I can take this dust cap off and start threading it in and get it pretty close to tight. Okay. Then you can orient the filter however you want. I'm going to have it up for the fuel lab logo and then also so I can see the outlet. All right. Then make sure that you put this piece of rubber back and make sure that it's all lined up nice. The hardware should drop right in. Sure it's all tight okay so here we are we are finished this is the fully assembled fuel lab fst the fuel surge tank and you can see it's a really nice elegant piece really well crafted great design now you is when you would go back in and tighten up all your fittings make sure that again everything is oriented exactly how you want and then you can just tighten it right up so you can see that it's pretty simple setup now that you understand how it goes together. Fuel Lab also includes this clamp style bracket for the filter if you decide again to not use their plate and bracket method. This is gonna be just more of a universal style. You can mount it however on the car, pretty simple. I can't wait to use this thing on the car. It's definitely gonna fix quite a few of my fueling issues and it's a, just a really beautiful piece to put on the car. So a little, little piece of artwork. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. This is gonna be much shorter than my previous videos. So. Uh, hopefully it was entertaining enough to keep you interested. Again, if you want to win a fuel lab, fuel pressure regulator, or just a swag pack, make sure you comment on this video what car you'd put it on and then share it on one of your social media platforms and tag me if you could. You guys also can go check out all kinds of other awesome fuel lab products at the website fuellab.com and they've got, you know, solutions for all kinds of things including diesel trucks and whatnot. So pretty much whatever you're into, they might have an option for you. We're gonna install this bad boy soon, so be on the lookout for that video. And I appreciate you guys liking, commenting, subscribing, and all that good YouTube stuff. So we'll see you on the next one.